It's got a new Prince of Persia roguelite from Dead Cell Studio. Evil Empire has been announced. If you want to keep up to date with all of our articles, make sure you swing by ITGTV.com. Where there we have a lot more to cover as well. The roguelike Prince of Persia game hit Steam in early access. That's right. Tom Ivan over VGC announced during the Triple I initiative showcase on Wednesday. Scott, did you see the showcase? Dude, where did this come from? I didn't even know about it. You know, I feel better having heard you say that because it did pop out of nowhere. I'm seeing a huge amount of information come out now, but yeah. after the fact. Yeah, a lot of people were like this. I saw it blasted on Twitter yesterday. Who who, who was supposed to be promoting this thing? Because we never saw it at all. But the new action platforming game will be released on May 14th, 2024 via Steam Early Access. Quote, jump into the action of the Rogue Light installment of Prince of Persia series as it flow if you flow between death defying for platforming and acrobatic combat as the prince himself reads the description of the game battle through the capital city again and again with one goal find a way to save prince from Han invasion wielding dark magic scott did you see the trailer to this at all yeah i saw a little bit of this um, just the introductory um, didn't watch a whole lot of it but i saw enough to see the uh, the choice in art style we'll say Exactly. Let's get into that. As Ubisoft said that Evil Empire, a French indie studio that worked on post-launch content for Dead Cells over five years, approached the IP holder with its own idea for working along the running the long-running series. To master the platforming sections, players will have to use iconic wall runs, allowing them to easily cross gaps, avoid traps, and outmaneuver enemies, according to the game's publisher. From the adequate to the Grand Academy, by way of the Wild Gardens, the Prince must use all of his acrobatic skills to safely find a route through the procedural generated levels made of a variety of colorful biomes inspired by Persian architecture. The art style dude threw me right off. I think it was <laughs> the biggest takeaway. You know I'm such a big art fan. All right? the, the, there's a style and it hooks me. Very cool. I've heard a couple things about the game. So I'm definitely going to check it out. My other worry, do a lot of us either have finished or are still kind of chipping away at Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown, which wasn't really, it was critically received well, not from fans though. <laughs> yeah, it was a little bizarre. A lot of people really, really attacked the graphical look of that game, which I I felt was quite unfair at sure. the time. Um, this game seems to be a little bit more of a choice. <laughs> Maybe yeah. a little bit more in line with Dead Cells. It's something that doesn't necessarily bother me, but I, I anticipate a lot of backlash based on that. I'm definitely curious to see what the feedback comes in from fans, <clears> right? <throat> if they didn't like The Lost Crown, are you going to like this? Right? It's not the Prince of Persia remake that we're supposed to be getting that it's more visually pleasing to the eye via as a <laughs> realistic version, right? It's much more high def, much more realistic when we get into the characters and the prince there. Then you get into the Lost Crown, unique art style. Now you get into the new roguelite mode in this game. Well, that is a whole other ball game too now. We're in a whole other art style. It's like, man, there's a lot of Prince, Prince, Prince going on. It's funny how Prince was gone for years, and all of a sudden now we're talking about three different games all in one year, Scott. It like gets bizarre, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, this is getting out of hand. Now there's <laughs> many of them, but <laughs> I do like that Evil Empire is able to kind of step into this space They've kind of um, acquired their own ability to uh, put together a Prince of Persia game. That has to be really exciting. Absolutely. I am excited to check out the game. I'm going to have to figure out how to get around the art style and just get in. <laughs> if it's fun, that's enough to pull me in, right? That's the other side of it, too. Just try out the game, play the game. Early access. They said they're going to support it for years to come. I'm surprised it's early access and not a full launch coming to the table. Given yeah. how far away are we from the full release then in this case, right? They want to get players' feedback, which is always nice to hear, right? You, well, sometimes. <laughs> but you want to get players' thoughts to go, okay, what do you like, what don't you like? And then from there, kind of keep going and expanding and trying to maybe not necessarily fix, but tweak some of the mechanics, right? And see how that kind of plays out over the maybe five years to come. They've been such a supporter of Dead Sales with all the DLC and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure, dude, we're probably in good hands. Again, it's just for me getting past the art direction is going to be a bit of a hiccup. But I think once I'm past that, it looks like it should be cool. Were you? We heard rumblings of the road like roguelike mode coming. Are you surprised of the side scroller once again? Is my other thing. 
Oh, I'm, I'm kind of more surprised that this doesn't just a mode stapled into the Lost Crown. Ah. Because the Lost Crown already has that big, giant world that already has all the pieces there. But sure. that said, I do love that game, and I'm happy to accept another that's kind of similar. So <laughs> I'm happy to see this come along. And I like this um, emphasis on 2D action games again. Yeah. So I am, uh, I'm a fan of that. Very cool. We'll be checking it out next month for sure. I'm definitely curious to see how this plays out. And as I said, let us know over at ITGTV.com where you can follow us on all of our socials and there you keep up on what's happening and find out what's going on with more Prince content.